Hello everyone, I know it has been forever since I last uploaded a video, but I wanted to share a huge life update with you guys. My boyfriend and I adopted a Siamese kitten. She is seven months old and her name is Dahlia and she is just the cutest little thing and she has enriched our lives so much as she's biting me out. Okay, cats do not like to be held. That is one of the things I have had to learn because I'm a dog person and Dogs do like to be held. So anyway, <laughs> and now she's attacking my feet. So yes, anyways, we adopted a kitten and we just feel like a little family now and we love her so much. I wanted to do a video about adopting a cat or a kitten and just all the things I've learned, but I kind of want to see if you guys have any questions first before filming a video like that. So please comment down below if you have any questions regarding adopting a kitten because it is just the best thing ever. If you are in a position where you can adopt a cat or a dog, I highly suggest it and I wanna help you guys learn everything you need to know before adopting a cat because I definitely was not fully prepared and I didn't really understand how different cats were from dogs. So there are a lot of things that I have learned that I would like to share with you guys if you guys are interested. I'm also gonna share some apartment updates with you right now because I know it's been a while since you guys have seen my place and there's a lot of new stuff. So yeah, let's get on into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the kitchen first because this is the room where there's the most change happening. So I decided to put the kitchen table against the wall and take out the fourth chair. And I just think it frees up so much space. So the reason I did this is because I just got this kitchen cart that I'm gonna paint, probably pink or yellow, I'm not sure yet. Um, but we're putting a microwave on top of this. So we were putting this there, and then also we have the whole litter box situation here where the trash can used to be. So I moved the trash can right here. I'm not sure if I love the way that looks, but I am really liking the space in this room. I'm excited to paint and decorate this cart, and I think this shelf that used to be by the stove, I'm just gonna make kind of like a cat food area and make it look cute and um, probably do some canisters and tins and stuff to put the cat food in. So yeah, that's basically the update on this room. I just think it's a lot more usable. And um, also I know it kind of seems gross that there's a litter box in this room, but to be honest, we don't really eat here that much. We eat in the dining room way more. So this room is just like, an extension of the kitchen and we need to be able to utilize it better. So I think this is a good solution to that. I also got a few new things for above my fridge. My mom got me these two tins for my birthday and I just think they look adorable above the fridge. And there's also some new magnets and stuff in here. And I got a dry erase board from Target to keep track of cleaning because I have to write things down or else I just don't really do it. So I'm kind of using that as a cleaning schedule. What are you? Oh. No. Over on this side, there's a few new things hanging on the wall. I really, really love these pie tins. This one's from Knott's Berry Farm. This one's from Polly's Pies, which is a local Long Beach uh, restaurant. And this one is New England Table Talk. And then I also hung up my Texas tray. And yeah, I think everything else was here last time I filmed. Um, I'm not sure though. But yeah, I'm really liking the way my kitchen looks right now. I think it's really, really cute. This room is pretty much the same as it was the last time I filmed. Um, except for, for Christmas, my mom got me these two adorable deer. They are just so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, this room's kind of just filled with cat toys and stuff right now because this is where we play with her the most. Um, and then there's also this cat tree that came with her when we adopted her, but I'm gonna replace that with a cuter cat tree in time when I can afford it. Um, but she doesn't even really use it, so it's kind of serving no purpose besides being ugly. But um, Also, right now I have some Valentine's decorations. I just did this last night, it was super simple. I just strung up 
some vintage Valentine's Day cards, and I have a little chocolate box. I might get a few more for above the mantle. But yeah, this room is pretty much exactly the same. Um, actually, I'm not sure if this was in my last video. This is a Boy Scouts crate, and it's just probably one of the fav my favorite things I own, actually. My boss, Emily, um, the owner of Magnolia and Willow, found it at the Long Beach Flea Market and was nice enough to give it to me because she knows how much I love Boy Scout stuff. Dahlia is just way too obsessed with plants, so unfortunately I had to take the plant out of this plant stand because she kept jumping on it. So I think I'm actually just gonna sell this plant stand at my space at Magnolia and Willow. And I'm also going to be selling this kitchen chair in my space. Um, this is the one that was the fourth one that I got rid of in the kitchen nook. So yeah, if you want either of those items, just message me or check out my space at Magnolia and Willow. This room is also pretty much the same except for this butterfly cloche that my neighbor just gave me. And also I have some more Valentine's cards over here. I recently changed out a few of the things that are on these shelves and I think I've mentioned these before. They're from Ikea and these are the best solution if you have a wall where you need to put something really shallow. So I didn't want to just put a big piece of art on this wall. I knew I wanted to make it more of a gallery, bookshelf type of space, but I had this closet door and I can actually open it all the way without it hitting the shelf. So these are just wonderful. They're a great solution for a wall like this. I also just hung up these wooden cats that my neighbor gave me and this space looks the same as well except for on this bottom shelf of the plant stand i put cat grass and i'm gonna replant that in a pot obviously but um since <laughs> since it's so low she is obviously gonna try to mess with it and this way she can eat it and she's actually in love with it if you couldn't tell in the hallway i hung up some of mine and brandon's more personal belonging type of things um, on this shelf, we have a lot of travel stuff, and then this wall, I have been collecting some stuff to do a whole gallery wall, so I'm pretty excited to start on that. And that takes us to the bedroom, so some new things I have in this room are this lamp that I bought from my neighbor. I pretty much get everything in my house from my neighbor, <laughs> um, but I bought this from her space, uh, Emmerich's Emporium at Urban Americana and um, she also gave me <laughs> this dress form. Thank you, Tia. Thank you for furnishing my entire home. I turned my doll bed into a cat bed um, and she really doesn't use the bed. <laughs> she likes sleeping with us on our bed, but I love this doll bed. It has little deers on it and I think it would be so cute whenever I have a kid to put this in a nursery. I just think it's so adorable. I think the only other new thing in this room is this large macrame piece that my mom made me. And she's actually really good at making macrame and we sell it in our space at Magnolia and Willow. Also, I got this Lolita poster framed. I don't think that was here last time. Um, but yeah, also this isn't our bedspread. This is our old bedspread, but it's been so cold we've been using five blankets every single night. Moving on to the bathroom, I got this hamper actually just last weekend from Magnolia and Willow, and it's a 1940s hamper, and it also has this shelf and stuff, which I love because most hampers don't have that, so I love that it was multifunctional. And um, above here, I got those two poodle plates, um, I got this new switch plate, and I actually have um, some mermaid fish, uh, like lucite type things that I'm gonna hang above here. I actually have them in here. So these are the little mermaid fish guys that I'm gonna hang, um, but I need to get some 3M strips, so I haven't had a chance to do that, but I think they're really cute, and the little mermaid has rhinestone eyes. My bathroom is coming along pretty well. It's just all girly, kitschy, um, poodle, fish, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun 
uh, filling up these walls because there's still so much space and still so much I can do. Um, so I kind of like that. I like that everything is done and looks good, but there's still a lot that I can add on to and just still have fun while I'm shopping looking for things. So that is my updated little apartment tour. I'm going to be filming a real high quality apartment tour very soon, so be on the lookout for that. Um, if you want to see a video about adopting a kitten and everything that goes along with that, please let me know. And also let me know what your favorite new item is in my house. Say goodbye, Dahlia.